Welcome to Star Citizen and the Performance Guide Special. Star Citizen is one of the most hardware-hungry games to date and often eats even the most powerful systems for breakfast. Do you feel that your performance is not as good as it could be? Or are you having trouble getting your FPS up to a playable level? Then in this guide, as a supplement to our XXL performance guide with 50 tips and tricks, we will show you how you can significantly improve your performance. We will introduce you to a tool that increases your performance in Star Citizen in the double-digit FPS range, regardless of graphics card and system. It can also be used for most other games and applications. But first, the big thank you to the true ladies and gentlemen who make this video possible with their supporters, Patreon, channel member or Twitch subscriber. Thank you! Would you like to increase your FPS, for example in 4K resolution with maximum details and settings from 33 to up to 50, or improve your FPS in Full HD from 62 to 86? There is a solution for this, which we have tested for you on two different hardware generations and which is possible with both Nvidia and AMD graphics cards, as well as all others. We present you such a tool, which can directly increase your FPS with just a few clicks. However, this is not magic, which is why, depending on the setting and the desired FPS performance, the optics may suffer in some areas, or we may even accept the loss of performance and improve the optics again. We introduce you to the Lossless Scaling tool, which is available for just under $3 on Steam, which among other things makes AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution, Nvidia's Image Scaling and LS1 directly and continuously usable for almost all games and applications. With this tool you can either increase the resolution of games and applications, partly AI-based, without affecting the performance of your system, or improve the quality of images by adding more details. It is easy to use and allows you to choose the option that suits you best. The reviews are very positive and the price-performance ratio is unbeatable for Star Citizen standards. For $3 you usually don't even get a paint. For Star Citizen, you can reach the next performance level with the right settings, which we will of course present you in detail. We will therefore go step by step into the settings, introducing the three scaling types we recommend. From AMD Super Resolution, which can be used for all graphics cards, to image scaling, which is exclusive to NVIDIA cards, and the AI-based LS1 variant. In the game menu, we select the lower resolution that are native one in frameless window mode, in our case from 4K to Full HD. We leave the scaling tool in auto mode. In the open scaling tool, we first select LS1 as the scaling type and click on the scale button. Now we can switch back to the game and after 5 seconds the scaling by LS1 becomes active. Already in the automatic setting, we achieve a jump from our native 36 to 40 FPS in the same scene to 46 to 49 FPS, whereby the picture quality did not immediately suffer visibly at first glance. And even when zooming in, the FPS remained stable at between 44 and 48, with textures still acceptable and legible. The second recommended variant, and visually equal in any case, is AMD's FSR, which gives us 44 to 47 FPS. Roughly the same values as with LS1, but with a slightly better picture quality. And we also achieve the same values in zoom, whereby the textures appear a tad sharper and clearer than with LS1. Depending on the application and game, however, this can differ as two switch scaling method offers the best image quality. It should be noted, however, that AMD's FSR, like the free LS1, can be used for all graphics cards, including Nvidia and Intel models. And this brings us to the third recommended scaling method, Nvidia's image scaling, which is, however, limited to corresponding Nvidia cards. With this, we achieve a little more FPS, even breaking the 48 to 50 FPS mark in this scenario. In addition, the image quality is the best of the three scaling methods, which becomes particularly clear in the details area, which we will present to you in a direct comparison in the following. However, it is noticeable that the FPS and the zoom are somewhat lower than with other methods, and we have to make it down with 45 to 46 FPS. Our first 4K test system is a RTX 3090, 64 GB of RAM and an AMD Ryzen 5900X, whereby we choose a resource-intensive scenario. 
On average, we achieve 60 to 70 FPS in space and outside of such intensive areas. And finally, we take another look at the same scene with the native 4K resolution. Here you will notice that in the native resolution, the FPS display, which you can display in different variants using the console command, is not scaled and is significantly smaller than in the high scaled variants as before. You can find more about console commands and other tips in the addressed XXL performance guide here in the channel. In the native resolution, we naturally have the highest image quality, but in this scene, we do not get beyond the maximum of 34 FPS or 32 FPS in the zoom. This is a difference of almost 20 FPS compared to Nvidia scaling or a good 15 FPS with the other variants. With the second system of native Full HD, we achieve up to 36 FPS with the Ryzen 5600X, 32GB of RAM and the GTX 1080 at maximum graphics settings. Here we again choose a lower resolution and frameless window mode, in this case 1280 by 720 And even with Full HD upscaling, we achieve 83 to 85 FPS, a good 20 FPS more than in the native resolution. But this significant FPS increase is of course bought with somewhat lower picture quality, which is why we look at the different variants in detail. This is a 4K upscaling, whereby we see the native variant without upscaling at the top. The differences are mainly visible in the more distant areas and in the zoom, whereby the quality decreases slightly from top to bottom. However, lossless scaling also offers a custom mode, in which we can adjust some parameters ourselves and influence the picture quality and the increase of performance. With the scale factor 1, we have the maximum possible picture quality, which is also used in the automatic mode. The scale factor 1.33 is a high quality level with a moderate increase in performance compared to scale factor 1, which we can recommend in most areas in addition to scale factor 1. With a factor of 1.5, the graphics quality already decreases somewhat more clearly, although the performance increase is only moderate. And with a value of 2 or higher, the graphics quality is clearly reduced, which is only useful in really exceptional cases. In this case, Star Citizen is still playable on very weak systems, but any graphic qualities are then missing. In such cases, it is worth adapting the hardware or using all the tips presented by us in the XXL performance guide in order to be able to call up an absolute maximum of performance of your system. However, lossless scaling also offers the possibility of further improving the native resolution, which costs a few FPS in performance, but in return can significantly increase the sharpness and image quality. For this, we remain in our native resolution in the game and then use the scaling method that is most visually appealing to us, as well as the scale factor 1 in order to obtain a plus in picture quality and sharpness. In the following, we will use the example of the LS1 variant to show you how the image sharpness and quality can improve when scaling is activated. This is particularly noticeable with distant areas, fonts or intricate objects. As an example, let's take a look at the rest and relax sign, which still looks slightly washed out in the native 4K resolution, but becomes much sharper when scaling is activated. In addition, a slight brightening is noticeable, as well as a somewhat more plastic overall image. Following, you will find some examples and differences between activated scaling and the native resolution. And for questions, suggestions or fellow players, feel free to drop by our Discord or visit in the original Twitch livestreams. See you soon and see you in the verse.